Hi, thanks for joining us today. My name is Craig, I'm with Global Pest Solutions, and today we're going to walk you through one of our bed bug heat treatment jobs. If you follow me, we'll show you how we do the procedure. This is our heating unit that we run throughout the house that pumps the heat through the house to get us to the temperatures that we need to get through to kill the bed bug infestation that's going on in the house. We try to achieve 140 degrees throughout the entire house to achieve a total kill. Our propane tank runs, runs the uh, heating unit. It's about a 25 gallon propane tank. So let's walk you through and we'll show you uh, what's going on inside the house and how the unit works. This is our FLIR heat gun. And what it's going to do, it's going to give us a temperature of every section throughout the house. And once again, we need to get that temperature to 140. So not only will this uh, take photos for us so we can put out a reading at the end to see where we're at, but it'll show us what areas we need to move fans to to get to the temperature that we're not getting to. So let's walk in and see where we're at right now. Now we're in the kitchen or the dining room area of the home and if you can look at the camera you'll see that we're at about 117 yeah, about 117 degrees Fahrenheit in the kitchen you go over to the walls we're getting up to 118 so we're slowly getting there we started this job at about 8:30 this morning we're now at 10 o'clock so a couple hours into it and we're already up to about 117 115 it fluctuates in between over to the heating unit. You can see we got fans throughout the house. We're helping pump the heat throughout. The more fans you have, the better circulation you're going to get on that heat. Right now I'm standing right in front of the heating unit and we're pumping that temperature in at about 170 right now. Right about where we want to be. You don't want to heat it up too fast. Um, you may damage some of the belongings of the homeowners. So this is a good temperature to be at right here. Get anywhere above 190, we can draw that heat back down. We have the hallway here. And you see in the hallway, we've already got 145 degrees going down this entire length of the hallway, even up to that back wall. And we got another fan right here pumping it into the back bedroom. This first bedroom is running at about 135, 136. So what we're gonna do now we're going to start moving some of the stuff around and make sure we're getting that heat underneath things like mattresses, any clothing that the homeowner might have left behind. These mattresses up so now that he can get behind them, get underneath them, anywhere the bed bugs might hide. We're still getting about 117. Down a little lower on this uh, box spring, up the 100 range. I'm going to drop into another room and start moving some of this stuff around. This wall is getting up there. I'm dripping right now. This wall right here has already got the temperature we need. It was at 145, 144, so we're good right here.
got our bathroom at about 114. You can see that on the camera, it's fluctuating, going up and down, depending on where I put the put the line. The toilet itself is actually, you can see it's 108, 110, going back and forth. This area generally is not going to have your bed bugs, but we're still going to try to achieve that pretty close to 140 or as close as we can get it. temperature we need to get into these drawers. You can leave the clothing in the house, so that's one good thing about heat. Um, opposed to using a chemical treatment, a lot less work on the homeowner. We can pretty much heat this whole thing with uh, no chemicals involved. Pictures on the wall like this, this is one that they left. They typically need to come down. The bed bugs will hide behind the, the casing, behind the picture frame. And this one's looking pretty good. See if we can get a reading over by the uh, kitchen sink here. Kitchen sink, if you look, we're getting about 125, 126. So this room's starting to get up there. One thing that you really want to make sure you do is get the spots where the bed bugs hide in the carpet, and they're going to be back down by the tax strip. So you want to peel that back. Make sure your temperature's getting down there. Here we're still a little low, we're about 105, 106. So this is the area that we really need to get that heat pumping into to get that temperature up to that 140 range. At about 115, you know, running that thing for a few hours, you're killing off the bed bugs, but at 140, you've got a total fuel of eggs and everything. So that's about it. We're going to go back outside. We're going to monitor this job. You can see I'm dripping sweat, but uh, this house is really starting to heat up. Thank you.